Zimbabwe has confirmed its first two cases of Mpox, a viral infection that has attracted considerable global health scrutiny due to the emergence of a new variant. This alarming announcement came from the Health Ministry on October 13, 2024, adding to the rising concerns over infectious diseases in the region. The initial case involves an 11-year-old boy who developed symptoms after returning from South Africa last month. The situation escalated with the confirmation of a second case, a 24-year-old man who fell ill after visiting Tanzania. Both cases were reported in Harare, the bustling capital city, and Mbarengwa, a less populated township in the southern part of the country. Health officials promptly initiated contact tracing efforts, aiming to contain any further spread and ensure that all exposed individuals receive proper care and monitoring. These two cases emerged just months after the World Health Organization declared Mpox a global public health emergency for the second time in two years. The declaration was prompted by the alarming spread of a new variant known as Clade 1b, raising concerns over its transmissibility during close contact. The implications of this variant are profound, as it could lead to intensified outbreaks if not managed effectively. This escalating situation demands diligent attention from health authorities and the community alike. In response to the outbreak, Zimbabwe's health authorities have sought to reassure the public. Health Minister Douglas Mambashora emphasized that the situation remains under control, urging citizens not to panic. His message stresses the importance of vigilance as the authorities continue their investigation into the outbreak while ensuring that the public is kept informed. Drawing parallels, neighboring Zambia has recently reported its first Mpox case as well, although details regarding the variant remain vague. Mpox often presents with flu-like symptoms and can lead to painful pus-filled lesions. While the majority of cases are mild, the potential for fatality especially in vulnerable populations, remains a significant concern for public health officials. As the situation unfolds, health officials are closely monitoring developments. The potential for further spread and its implications for public health necessitate a cautious approach. Community awareness and compliance with public health guidelines will be pivotal in navigating this emerging challenge, reminding everyone of the importance of proactive health measures.